Well, Liam Dowling has a big weekend ahead of him, uh, both in the Puppy Oaks, but also with Ballymac Whisper going for him in the Laurels final. I wanted to talk to you about that semi-final, Liam, because when she turned behind the dog she did, including the track record holder at uh, Curring Park in Jupiter's Edison, did you think she could pick those sort of dogs up? Uh, look, she's a very classy bitch. She probably lacks a small bit of early tour, even though she took a, a bang off break the last night, put herself into contention, go into the bin, was well beaten, got into the bin. But, you know, she, she used her head at uh, rails terrible well after the second bend. I knew then she was going to qualify at that stage, but, you know, the type of dogs in front of her. I knew she'd run them down, but I didn't think she'd win to, if I was being honest. Amazing, amazing performance. Um, where are we at with her? She's had a seasonal rest, hasn't she? Is she about the right time coming up season? She's. I think she's just on the probably 14th week, so you would expect there's another little bit of improvement. But look, bitches differ, as, as we know. So, But I, I think there's a little bit more left in her. But the next night, if she's to be in contention, it's a very classy final, a um, lot of early pace in it, but she probably doesn't have to go with him. But... If she can trap as good as she did last week, she's got a chance. If she doesn't do that, I don't think she has a chance. That's my real reading of the race. But um, she's she's a very, very uh, big, big finisher. And I suppose it's over the distance we're going to be looking at with her. But at the present time, we said we'd, we'd just leave her to the 480, 500 metres. So that's where we lie at the moment. And she is still very young, just uh, an August 20 bitch herself uh, and showing all sorts of, of star quality. Uh, I think maybe it's fair to say you've got just enough races into her now that we're starting to see the best of her again after that season. I would think so. I would think so. You know, not blowing the bitch up or anything like that, but I think she's she's probably the next couple of months now there's going to be competitions coming, but so she'll be aimed at them for the simple reason she's had her rest. So um, look, if she can repeat a little bit of the last night, we'd be delighted with her. We might have expected to go to the final there in, in, initially, but um, she's there on merit. She's there with a crack and run the semi-final. Let's hope she can do it once more. Of course, and track one for the final, you think the break is, is all important, but if she was there or thereabouts, she's shown she can pick up fast dogs. Yeah, look, there's a lot of early pace in that that final, the real classy dogs. Um, you know, you you would think if, if if all them dogs break together, that could be a little bit of an issue at the bend. But you know, she she'd have to be there. But if she was there and could turn maybe two or three lists behind them, she'd be there with a chance. But she has to do that. You're a magic man with a greyhound. I think we all know that. But do your magic skills extend to splitting yourself in half on Saturday night to go for the Puppy Oaks and for the Laurels, Cork and Shelburne? Um, listen, look when you're in this game. You could be a genius one weekend and you could be, you know, drying your tears the following weekend. So listen, it's, it's they're there on merit, they're in good order uh, and uh, they're going in there in full health. And, you know, you, ne you need lady look from here on in, but you never know where your, where your look's going to be. And where will you be? I'll possibly be coursing that daily story. <laughs> and, um, and probably from there, I'll, I'll head to Cork, hopefully. Okay, the body permitting. Yeah. Amazing weekend yeah. ahead for you, though. I wish you uh, all the best uh, at both tracks. Good luck, Liam. Thank you, Julia. Thanks a minute.